Hey y'all, it's your girl and for sure I'm about to do this weekly career reading, okay? Um, this weekly career reading is asking how to move forward this week in terms of business, career, and finances, okay? How to move forward this week in terms of business, career, and finances, okay? So take this message as a um timeless message, okay? So there are um could be messages for you within this reading whenever you take the time to watch it, all right? Or whenever the message comes across your screen, the video comes across your screen, all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just tap into it. Um, I want to ask my spirit guides, your spirit guides, and the Holy Spirit to come protect us during this reading. It was clear and accurate insight on how to move forward this week in terms of business, career, and finances, okay? Find your soul tribe, okay? Um, this is pretty much connecting. I'm getting more so like connecting with your group of people. You know what I'm saying? Like working with others, connecting with individuals who are like-minded, who, you know what I'm saying, who you guys are like on the same path or trying to reach the same goals or trying to, you know what I'm saying, do the same things is um what I'm getting from that. It's like once it's being connected in what it is that you are doing and what it is that you're trying to, um, you know what I'm saying, move forward in and see and finding others who are like um, along that same path as well or who, you know what I'm saying, who understand your path, who understand the journey is what I'm getting. And then we have release expectations. So the first thing I got with this release expectations is you may desire for something to go a particular way and it may go differently and i feel like that's why spirit is like telling you to release expectations um around it because there may be some sort of change because i always get changed also with this um butterflies um and with this butterfly energy as well i'm just getting like some 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 sort of change may occur this week. It may be some sort of change with your perspective or maybe some sort of change with your, um, you know, soul tribe or with your group or with your work. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever it is that you are doing, like, um, be mindful of that because there may be, um, there may be a change that you need to be open to. Okay. We have, it's okay to just be, I'm getting like a natural, like a natural flow. It's okay to just be you. Like it's okay to, um, be yourself in some sort of situation. So it's like, maybe with work, it's more so of like, you're having the opportunity to connect with others, connect with a group that understands you and you're not trying to, I just got a mindset. Like you're not trying to put on, like you're not trying to be a particular way you're not trying to you know what i'm saying do something to impress someone or do something you know you know what i'm saying like it's just i'm just getting like that it's just a natural flow to it now there also may be a period of rest as well with it's okay to just it's okay to just be because sometimes this card can um refer to resting also so you may have some type of down moment or something like that um in terms of work or some type of pause um as well is kind of what i'm getting okay so how to move forward this week in terms of business career and finances big risk big reward there may be a big risk that's coming up for you something that you're gonna have to take a chance on something that you're gonna have to um you know like really see if this is the route that you want to take. You know what I'm saying? Like really try to figure out is is risk, okay? <laughs> it's what I'm getting. Like it's some type I'm getting risk, I'm getting um opportunity as well or like something about to um happen for you. Something about to pay off cuz this may not even be that this week 
you take this risk, this could be that at another point you took a risk and now you're about to see the reward of it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's also um, the mindset that I'm getting from this as well. Because, you know what I'm saying? It could be that it's here. You know what I'm saying? You found your soul drive. Now you can relax. Now you can release, you know what I'm saying? The expectations of what you, you know what I'm saying? What you thought, what you figured things would be like and understand that, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's bigger then what you even realize is the mindset that I'm getting from this as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's get some more cards. Let's see how to move forward this week. In terms of business, career, and finances. How to move forward this week. We have nine of swords. You might be anxious about something. You might be staying up late about something, though, as well. Spirit, clarify that. Nine of Swords. How to move forward this week. I am definitely getting like late night energy, staying up. Maybe you're staying up to do something. Uh, we have this Ace of Cups, so. What is this? Maybe some creative opportunity that has you up late. Some creative opportunity that's coming in that has you, what? That has you up late at night or something that um, comes in that makes you feel, something that makes you feel, I just got refreshed, but or makes you feel pleased. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that. Let's see. How to move forward. This week, I'm just getting, though, that it is something that you want, but you may be staying up late on, like, or it's maybe something. I'm getting night, y'all. I'm getting, like, nighttime energy, like something that you're staying up at night or something that you've been, like, in your head about or something like that or something that you're, like, anxious about or nervous about or, you know what I'm saying? Something that's, that's kind of what is is giving me. How to move forward this week in terms of the magician here. It's likely something that you manifested, though. Like, you manifested something, and it's like it's coming through. Like, you're seeing the reward. It's something that you did. Like, it's coming through. You're seeing the reward, and maybe you're anxious about it. You're like, you know what I'm saying? Is this it? Or something like that. But it's like, it looked like it's coming through, okay? We had this Queen of Pentacles here. It's just something that allow you to be sitting in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Or this could be a person, an actual Queen of Pentacles that is, you know what I'm saying, that you have manifested or that you, you know what I'm saying, that is coming to you to present something to you. And then we have this Seven of Pentacles, like something that you've been waiting on. Like you've been waiting on this to happen it's like a reward finally coming in and then we have uh the artist card here and i'm getting from this artist card it's like creative energy something that you created something that you have um like worked towards or used your imagination on or or something like that like that's that's what i'm getting or if someone is wanting to invest um in you invest in your you know what i'm saying creative abilities or you're deciding to invest you maybe you're deciding to stay up late you know what i'm saying and then you know that's making you feel good to stay up late and like push forward and invest in some type of um invest in some type of opportunity it's the biggest thing that i'm getting here y'all you did something, but that's how to move forward this week is, hey, doing what you love is really what I'm getting, doing what you love. So maybe you're staying up late to do what you do what you love. Maybe you're taking the time to, you know what I'm saying, really invest in it. Maybe you decided to, you know what I'm saying, you're in the mindset of where you have decided to be patient about something that you, you know what I'm saying, love and truly desire, and you're starting to see it 
come together is what I'm getting. All right. Let's see how to move forward this week in terms of business, career, and finances. We have number two, the receptive. We have the yielding yin principle, devoted, patient, supportive, obedient, responsive, intuitive, earthy, mother. This could be something that you have used your intuition on, but I'm also getting this with this patient here and this supportive energy. It's like either you are getting, it's, it could be two different things. Either you are getting some sort of support that's coming in for you or you're finally like it's like your patience in a particular manner your your patience in a particular situation has finally like paid off is is more so what i'm getting like what you've been putting in something has finally paid off with this 55 here abundance you know what I'm saying? Like your abundance is here. Big risk, big reward. Like if something is coming in for you, okay? And maybe someone is going to be generous with this generosity, um, ripeness, inner riches, okay? But this is what I'm getting. Now, let me also say this because this is, um, I just got this thought as well and I don't want to ignore it because I'm going back and looking at this. Um, for some of you, this may, this, you know what I'm saying? This may not be everyone, but for some of you, this may be some sort of, you may find out about something. Okay. So honestly, I just got pregnancy because one with this, um, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you even found out about some sort of, you know what I'm saying? Pregnancy. Maybe that's why you stand up late about it. Um, cause this ace of cups could be, that could be the gift of, um, you know, a child, but also with this um earthy, this mother here, this pregnant belly here, and this fertility card, like it's something I'm getting like something being birthed, or you know what I'm saying? Like you either you birthing something or something being birthed around you, um that you've been, you know what I'm saying, either been waiting on that you've been for some of you, this is literally some type of um, child, like a pregnancy situation, some type of birth, you know, is happening. And I don't know if that's how you move forward or maybe that's why, why you're going to be resting or something like that. Um, but that's a message for someone. Again, that's not a message for everyone. For others, it could be that you are literally just getting some type of support. Um, maybe you're getting someone who is like devoted to the same cause as you. Someone is wanting to um, come in and support you and help you and assist you. I'm also getting like um, financial, like financial help um, as well. Uh, but someone wanting to be generous. Yeah, wanting to be generous to you. Someone wanting to, you know what I'm saying, like support you, provide for you, be devoted to you or to your endeavors or to what you are trying to build or to what you're trying to um, like invest in is what I'm getting. So that's how you move forward. Or maybe you are this person who is trying to invest in someone else. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this is, this is kind of what I'm getting here is, um, yeah, some energy of, you know what I'm saying? Some type of reward, but it's like something that you've manifested and it's, um, support, and abundance. It's like you finally found your tribe. Okay. So this is a message congratulations it's something Zilla will stand up later something's gonna happen you know what I'm saying overnight oh this could be like an overnight type of thing as well is what I'm getting also okay so anyway y'all take the messages that resonate for you and have a jazzy day